You better have your spikes on to be in here. That's my husband, Dale, keeping me safe. He's incredibly skilled, has loads of energy, always knows more than me, has penetrating blue eyes. It's Wednesday morning, full February winter. I crouch through the horse fence lines. I'm balancing so much right now. Full-time healthcare, part-time psychotherapy, our farm, our self-discovery book, mental health directories, plus I'm planning to launch my own spiritual offering. No, I haven't told Dale. It probably won't happen anyway. Walking towards him, I'm sure he's judging me. Why do I feel 10 again? I look at him defiantly. And then, like in the cartoons, my right foot goes up in the air and I slam down on the ice. My head hit hard. What just happened? That hurt a lot. It makes me want to cry. This is not good timing. I might have really hurt myself. I walk away to get on with the day. Post-concussion syndrome, double vision. I have to wear these ridiculous blue glasses. Let me say, they're not helping me be taken seriously. I, I have recovered from medical mystery before. I'll roll with this. No one will even notice. For the first while, everything's very beautiful. I love sitting on my white duvet, looking at the baby plants lining the bank of windows. My stepson Evan gave me the plants, and my daughter Molly picked llama and cow pots. I take the heavy red wool blanket around my head, lying facing the windows. I don't realize I'm sleeping nearly 20 hours a day. I've always wanted time to relax in nature, but you can't make money doing that, can you? Slowly my drive returns to do my share on the farm. Why are Dale and Molly doing the chores without me? That's my job. I'm suspicious and angry a lot. Molly takes my hand across the roads now. I laugh, she laughs, but I feel useless. Everything I say comes out sarcastic and mean. I'm apologizing daily. When Dale says, "Hun, why don't you take a rest day? I storm off embarrassed to be so pathetic. I can't take a rest day. I need to get back to work. Oh, I wish I had a zipper to step out of my own skin. Napping, I can do. But the minute I'm awake, my mind makes endless lists, chores, groceries, errands, anything to keep moving. Dale looks into my eyes, holds me. I contract. I just can't let him. It's like I'll fall apart. It's terrifying. This isn't working. I need to give myself permission to rest, to heal. I started taking my healing seriously. Afternoon naps with kitten purring against my back. Watching gold light drip from grandmother tree out front. Brushing our horses. Oh, it's nice to enjoy the great life we have. Dale says, babe, I've never loved anyone the way I love you. I love who you are. I tighten. I can't believe that's true. And that's when it hits me. It's me who doesn't love me. 
I'm safe showing myself to Dale. He's always been safe. Fast forward to moments before I go on stage, rocking a pink jumpsuit, white high tops, hoop earrings. God, it's exhilarating sharing my story of love and healing, knowing those beautiful blue eyes will be waiting for me from the front row. I love sharing all of myself with my man. Dale is my anchor. I'm safe being me, fully, joyfully, because I love who I am. My spiritual offering is me. Thank you.